So our spy needs to start becoming more like a stub. And it already is more kind of a stub because you are setting some predefined responses here, right? For example, if you set this error here, it will complete with an error. Now, if you don't set an error and you set a successful result here, it will return those results. But there's a case where the client forgot to set both. Mm. And here it's deciding to throw an URL error. <laughs> and this is the part of logic you were mentioning, right? Yeah, yeah. You had to add some logic to this pie because you need all these if, else, here cases. And there is even this case where, what should I throw here if the client forgot to set the, the response? So the question you had was, do we need to add logic to the stub when using async await? And ideally, no, we shouldn't have to. We want to, our call to be as simple as possible, the spies, right? We don't want logic in the spy or in the stub. It should be as simple as possible. So how can we eliminate this path? We never get here. One way is instead of using optionals is to always have a value in there. And how can we always have a value? Instead of property injection, we can use initialize injection. You always need a result here mm. that is either success or error. Yeah. Right? And we need to set this result we always want to have a result in there. Now, even use the result type here. We want it to complete with either success or an error. Like this. Exactly. So the state, the nil-nil state becomes unrepresentable by doing so. You always have something. And it's not even variable anymore. It's a mm -hmm. constant. Yeah. Never changes. So when you get here to the method you are stubbing, you don't need logic. You just return whatever was set in there. So here it needs to return the result. The result here, it's either success or error. And there's a method here, get, that yeah, will return okay. the success. And if it's a failure, it will throw, which is perfect for what we want. Because if we stub it with an error, it will throw the error that we expect. And if it has a successful result, it will return it. So we don't need the complete methods anymore. Complete with. So we can only create a stub, this URL session stub, if we give it a result. So you eliminate that path. It's unrepresentable now. You cannot even compile, so you avoid mistakes 